looking at section 6.2, which is solving systems using substitution. Okay? You can solve linear systems by solving one of the equations or one of the variables. Then once you get that one variable, like a y equals or an x equals, then you can substitute the expression into the second equation and solve for the other variable. So when you do that, it's called the substitution method. So problem one is using substitution. Using substitution. What is the solution of the system? y is equal to 2x plus 7, and y is equal to x minus 1. Now remember I told you, the first thing you need to do is, is get at least one of your equations into an x equals or a y equals. Here, both of them, both of them are y equals, so you don't even really have to do your first step. All you can do is go straight to your substitution. Okay? So here it says, how can you get started? If one equation is already solved for one variable, then you're going to use that one for your substitution. Okay? So this is how we work this problem. We start with one of the equations. This is what y, this is what y equals. Let's say we're going to use the, the bottom equation here. And that, that x minus 1 is equal to y, right? So if I substitute x minus 1 into the other equation, where will I substitute it? I will substitute it in for y. For y. So that yellow, yellow highlighted part goes right there. You see that? So when we rewrite our equation, we get x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 7. And now it's just a multi-step equation. You see how the only variables there are x's? Now we can solve for x. Want to ask you a question again? Yeah. Oh, could you equate 2x plus 7 in the other one? Yes. Yes, you could. Okay. So then you would just substitute the 2x plus 7 in the other one for y, and you get the same thing. Okay? So now that we have our equation, now we just solve for x. So let's see. Subtract x on both sides. We end up with negative 1 is equal to x plus 7. Subtract 7 on both sides. And x is equal to negative 8. But that's only one of my values, right? Now we have to substitute this back into one of those equations and get the y. Okay? So, um, let me shrink this. So now you're going to take this negative 8, which is x, and you're going to substitute it into one of the equations. Which one would you like to substitute? The bottom one. All right. So we have y is equal to negative 8 minus 1. So y is equal to negative 9. So that means that the solution to this system of equations is x comma y, which is negative 8 comma, negative 9. So when you check, all you're going to do is you're going to put the negative 8 in for x, you'll substitute the negative 9 in for y, right, into your original equations, and then see if you get the right answer. So let's check. So the first one is negative 9 is equal to 2 times negative 8 plus 7. So negative 9 is equal to negative 16 plus 7. Negative 9 is equal to negative 9. Check. We can substitute into the other one also. Let's see. Negative 9 is equal to negative 8 minus 1. Negative 9 is equal to negative 9. Check. So we have the correct solution. 
Problem two um, is solving for a variable using substitution. Now, the first thing I told you in problem one is that you have to have either an x equals or a y equals. Okay? Which means that you're going to have to use your literal equations to move things around again. Literal equations coming back. Right? Coming back. Everything is connected. So, here we have our two equations. Which one would you like to change? Aiden? The top one. The top one? Oh we could do that. We could do that. But, why would I choose to do the second one? Yes. Because it already has an x by itself. Do you see that? So since this one already has the x by itself, then that tells me that's the one I want to change. Does that make sense? All right. So let's go ahead and change that. Um, but does it matter? Could I do either one? You could do either one. Very good. And later on, if you want me to, I'll go back to this one and, and do the first equation if you'd like. Okay? All right. So we have x plus 3y is equal to negative 7. So we want to make this into an x equals or a y equals. And since the x is already by itself here, I'm just going to try to get that x by, just get the x alone on the left hand side. So I just need to subtract so 3y. Right. So minus 3y here and minus 3y there. So x is equal to negative 3y minus 7. Does it matter which order you put that in? No, it doesn't matter. So now this, <coughs> this expression is going to go in the other equation right there for x. Is everybody clear with that? All right. So, all right. So now we're going to substitute this expression in there for x. So, we've got 6y plus 5 times negative 3y minus 7. And that's going to be equal to 8. What is the first step that I have to do to get this y by itself? I need to distribute. Very good. We need to distribute. So, first thing, distribute. We've got 6y plus a negative 15y minus 35 is equal to 8. This is plus a negative. Isn't that just the same thing as minus? So if you wanted to, you could just write 6y minus 15y minus 35 is equal to 8. Okay? These two are the same thing. Is that right clear? Because plus and minus just means minus. Right? Okay. So now we continue. And let's see. 6y minus 15y is? Negative 9y. 9y. Negative 9y. Minus 35 is equal to 8. So now we add 35 here and there. And what do we get? 41. 40. 44. 44. 43. 43. <laughs> So now, we're going to divide by negative 9. So y is equal to 43, 43 ninths. Negative. Leave it as an improper fraction. Y, this is y, right? This is y. What do you see happening here? This is y, and I'm going to substitute it back in there. 
we can simplify. You see that? All right. <coughs> so now we're going to substitute back in to that one. Okay? So we've got x plus 3 times negative 43 ninths is equal to negative 7. So once you substitute in, now you just solve for x. You see that? So before we multiply, we can simplify. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3, 3. Ooh, looks like we're going to have to do some common denominators here, huh? So this is going to be x minus 43 thirds is equal to negative 7. So we've got x minus 43 thirds, which is equal to a negative 21 thirds. And now we can add. So we're going to add 43 thirds here and add 43 thirds there. And x is equal to positive what? 42 3. 20. Two thirds. So my solution is what? Oh, uh, 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 twenty-two, twenty-two over three, comma, comma, negative four, negative four, negative four. Very good, very good. And then you can check. Problem three is using systems of equations using systems of equations. Now again, for a problem, you have to write the equation. Okay? All right. It says you pay $22 to rent six video games. The store charges $4 for new games and $2 for older games. How many new games did you rent? So the first thing you need to do is you need to assign your x and y variables. Okay? So, let's say that, let's say, let me see what, this, what, I, what I did. Let's say that x is equal to the new games and y is equal to the old games. So, x is equal to new games and y is equal to old games. Okay, so now we know our variables. Now we can start writing an equation. How many video games did we buy? Six, Six right? Total. So if I add up the, the, the new games that I bought plus the old games that I bought, that should be equal to? Six. Six. So there's our first equation. X plus Y is equal to six. So now we want to talk about how much we spent. How much did they spend? $22, right? So, if we look, um, look at how much the new games cost, new games cost what? $4. So that means that 4 times X, that's how much I'm going to pay for my new games, right? How much am I going to pay for my old games? $2 times the Y, right? And that's going to equal my total, which is $22. Very good. So now we need an x equals or a y equals. Which one would you like to change? The first one or the y. second one? Y. I would like to change the first one. First one. Okay? I would like to change the first one. So we have x plus y is equal to 6. And let's just make it into a y equals, okay? So minus x on both sides. We get y is equal to negative x plus 6, okay? Now that is the expression that we're going to substitute into the other one for y. You with me? Mm -hmm. All right. So 
Here we have 4x plus 2 times a negative x plus 6, and that's going to be equal to 22. Now here we just have a multi-step equation solving for x. What's the next step? Very good. So now the distributed. So we have 4x. This positive 2 times negative x is going to be? Negative 2. Negative 2x. And then 2 times a positive 6 is a? 12. Positive 12. 12. And that equals 22. 20, 40, 40. Wait, don't, <laughs> don't forget 2 times. Oh, wait, no. wait, just, never just over here. That's on the other side of the equal sign. Okay. So now we end up with 2x. Plus 12 is equal to 22, and now we just solve for x. Minus 12 on both sides. 2x is equal to 10. We're going to divide by 2, and x is equal to? 5. 5. 5 what? Dollars. Dollars. No. 5 games. New games. games. New games. Very good. 5 New games. So how do I figure out how many old games I bought? You have to do it again. You substitute this into the equation. So we have 5 plus y is equal to 6. I know you can do that in the head, in your head, but I want you to show your work. Yes, ma'am. So we're going to subtract 5 on both sides. So y is equal to 1. Old game. Old game. And there you have it. Mm.